Hello and good afternoon, everybody. This is Abid from Chutney and Chat from Pathway to Grow. Right, 2018, I promised you we're going to have some some new things in the pipeline. We're going to be making some noise. Um, a new thing we've just launched, it's called Chutney Cam. Yes, Chutney Cam. Chutney Cam is for all the businesses that are within the Chutney and Chat networks. It gives you an opportunity to showcase your businesses, a five, ten minute interview with you on your business premises or at my premises, just to give the audience a bit of an insight into your business and the services you offer and provide. I think it's a great way to get your business um, out there and, and give you some great, great exposure. So our first candidate for the month of January 2018, I have with me Mr. Omar Rashid. Mr. Omar Rashid has just set up a new business called HR Department. Um, And I think um, what he does, it says in his business name, HR. So, Mr. Omar, welcome. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. No, thank you. Congratulations for being our first candidate. Thank you. It's a great honour. Thank you. So, (coughs) tell us a little bit about about your business. Okay, so it's a national franchise. Um, So, it's a national franchise. Uh, and like you said, in the, it's in the title. So we provide uh, HR services um, to small to medium businesses uh, who don't have an in-house HR department. Uh, what we provide is what a large corporate HR department can provide at a fraction of a cost. Okay. Uh, so that's why it makes it very uh, viable and very um, attractive for small to medium uh, businesses who don't have a HR department not sure around how to deal with um, any sort of people problems, people concerns. So that who have. would your ideal client be? Um, so it, it varies. So we could have someone who at the moment is, as they call it, a one-man band, yeah. but have been successful and are now looking to expand. Yeah. So they're looking to take on their first recruits, looking to expand their team, but are thinking, okay, once I've got my team in place, what are my legal obligations? So for one, you know, contracts. Yeah, um, that is very important. You have, you know, proper contracts for employees. Or yeah, whatnot. so we so those sort of um, employers who um, needing to get, you know, like a flying start with their stuff. So we would, for them, we would be able to provide contracts. Okay. Uh, handbooks, little policies around, like, you know, use of social media and IT. Uh, okay. Just to kind of get them going. Uh, initially, you know, we wouldn't be saying you need the full, full range or full suite of sort of policies, but something just to kind of get them going. Um, and then the ones who are slightly a bit more established, maybe have like ten to fifteen or twenty sort of employees. Um, I've got to the stage where they're thinking, okay, um, let's add value um, to our department, so sort of add value to our organisation. Um, so we offer sort of you know a suite of sort of services. Um, but one of the ones that they might be considering is also I've got 20 odd employees. The odd one here and there is giving me uh, some issues. The odd one giving me a bit of problems. How do I, how do I deal how with it? Manage. Well, how staff to manage management, it? I mean, in the current, yeah. you know, it, um, staff management is a skill and a department within itself. Yeah. Um, and a lot of companies that we insure and, and that we deal with, um, they have a H, uh, HR department. So you could classify yourself as an external HR department. For any business, really. That's you? right. Yeah, I mean, our, our ethos is sort of we want even we want to become your HR department. So whilst you would outsource it, um, similar, you know, different to say Peninsula, say different to sort of like Kroners, where it's very much call center. You don't know who you're going to get at the end of the phone one day. I'm local, so That's not to say Peninsulas. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. There's no, no, no great, there's, there's a great organization. Yeah, I'm not. This has got different ways. Just of, a different yeah. sort of um, platform of working. So we're local. So you know, it'd be myself that you'd have contact with. Um, I'm local. More than happy to sort of come out, get to know your business, come on your site, and provide that advice. Um, so we, you know, we become localized. Um, I think one of our unique services um, and the ones that I suppose is worth the investment is our sort of our advice line. So we we provide an advice line for twelve months. Um, within that it's unlimited advice unlimited email support advice and we also provide um, insurance um, for employment tribunal okay. uh, indemnity insurance interesting um, so you might ask well why is that important um, the reason for that is uh, last summer employment tribunal fees were abolished so what that meant was if you got rid of an employee and you, you know a small to medium enterprise classic scenario the owner kicks off 
and he just has a rant and a rave and just tells the person, go on, get up with get business, up. sort of stuff. Um, Which happens on Stratford Road pretty often. <laughs> <laughs> Probably does, and, and in other areas as well. So he's not followed the process. He's not followed any sort of, you know, uh, legal requirements um, in getting rid of that individual. Now, that individual, prior to last summer, if you wanted to put a claim in, would have had to probably put in a claim where you would have to fork up £1,200 beforehand. Yeah. That might put that person off. Yeah. You know, he, that might be a month's wage for some people thinking, well, that's too much, I can't afford it. Last summer, they abolished that fee. They got rid of that fee. So now if someone does it, there's nothing stopping them to okay. go and put a claim in. There is no so all the one. Place. So all the onus is on the employer rather than the employee. That's right, yeah. So now it's in, it's imperative, and from last summer we've seen a sixty six percent increase. The courts have seen a sixty six percent increase in those employment tribunal claims uh, being submitted. And that so that's, you know all, what, that's 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 pretty interesting. That is actually yeah. So, so that the number, onus now is not upon the employee to mm. pay. Um, they can lodge a claim, um, and it's down to the employer to defend himself and pay for everything. Yeah. So I think in particularly in the current climate with you know, with with everything with everything that's that's happening in the economy, um, I think your services are, are 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 pretty pretty valuable. Yeah. So if there are any business owners out there, any one man bands, and even the big corporates, if you are looking to enhance your HR department or looking to um um get somebody in for HR, um, Mr. Omar is your man, and he's a member of Chutney and Chat, verified uh, bona fide business, been with our platform for a while now. Um, and uh, pretty good at what he does. Just to say, we don't do chutney cam with any business and every business. I have uh, about seven or eight businesses that are waiting to come on. We have a vetting process, um, and we will endeavour to, to, to only engage with businesses that we feel are, are suitable for the audiences. Um, so is there any examples you, you, you could give us of, 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 of cases you've dealt with or work you've done? Yeah, so um, there was a finance um, financial insurance uh, company, and um, it wasn't Riverdale Insurance. Probably. Not <laughs> <laughs> um, so they had a individual uh, currently on maternity leave, and um, the, the lady uh, wanted to come back and wanted to reduce her hours, basically, and uh, the business um, couldn't accommodate that, and. It was just around, so they wanted to know, well, actually, how how can I say no without it and coming you know across discriminatory? Just on that or point, I think that's a very valid point. A lot of SMEs, when they have employees in a contract and the employee goes off sick for 12 months, I mean, stress leaves mm. is something that I've come across. Um, I've known a case where, where a chap went off on stress leave for 11 months. Mm. So in that 11 months, the business had to replace that individual also pay him for yeah. being on stress relief and then when he was when he came back to work i think the, for the first two weeks he came into work for an hour a day mm. and then two hours a day and, and and he phased him back in yeah now how many smes can actually deal with that sort that. of Not expense that, yeah. because your 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 wage roll or your salary for that particular role has doubled because you're paying the person off sick and you're paying the replacement. Um, you're trying to build your business. You're trying to grow your brand. You're trying to to make ends meet, and yet you're lumbered with 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 problems such as this. So, do you have solutions for that sort of stuff? Yeah, I think in that scenario, I think a lot of the time, what what I've come across in my experience when people do go off with stress, is business owners and organisations they feel a bit reluctant to engage with the person. Yeah. And when they have made that initial engagement, that person's probably come back and said, look, I'm very stressed. I'm not ready to talk. I'm not ready to engage. And businesses sort of back off. Yeah. For me, my advice would be don't back off. End of the day, yeah, you've because got as a due... business owner, you can't afford to back off because yeah. you're paying this person for being off work mm. and being stressed. Yeah, and it's not also the business element of it. Also, the individual may not realise it, but actually... By you not engaging, it makes them feel more secluded, uh, makes yeah, them more isolated, isolated. Yeah. Yes. and actually, in the lot, in, in, they will actually realise actually, you know, your engagement. Unless it's a work related stress issue, but even then, that makes it more paramount because if it is a work related stress, you want to make sure you deal with it as soon as possible so that they can return in the workforce. 
Um, a lot of the time it's stress related because of personal reasons and sometimes they actually feel um, relieved actually that actually they can get some support and actually if it's their employer that can give them that support they feel all more, the better all the better exactly so then your relationship as an employer to employee um, is stronger as well and what you get in return is okay the employee coming back but a they feel um, sort of grateful that the employer has sort of benefit and um, supported them you get more productivity out of them and you get more loyalty out of them as well and i'm yes. sure smes building relationships isn't exactly it? Yeah, and yeah, i think yeah. the hardest thing that smes will probably find is if there's high turnover yeah it's very disruptive it's very very, very disruptive, yeah yeah um, being a business myself you know what yeah. um i'm currently recruiting now you get somebody and you train them for three four months that is just absolute challenge absolute yeah. challenge. and it kind of you know it disrupts you from running your business yeah so yeah you know what brilliant so how can people get hold of you so there's a, a variety of ways um you can contact me um by phone um i think at the end maybe I'm gonna, just put at the, the end the at the card. end of this video yeah. there'll be a, there'll be a clip of, yeah. of 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 contact details yeah. you on facebook um not yet i'll probably say the best way you're to not get, on facebook uh, no 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 yeah we, the guy's not on facebook <laughs> uh i'm on twitter i'm on linkedin what's um, your twitter handle so it's at uh, Omar Rashid HR. Okay. Uh, I'm on LinkedIn, so it's uh, Omar Rashid. Um, you can get me through the website um, if you just search HR department and look for your local HR department. Okay. Um, you, you can get signposts and to myself as well. And he comes to training and chat events. So if you want to see him in person, 8th, I'm not plugging, by the way, 8th of February, Tipu Sultan, 6.30. Yeah. I'm not plugging. Yeah. So and if you I'm want also to in the manager, Chutney and Chat group as well, if you want yes. to plug that as so well. So the WhatsApp groups, the Facebook groups, uh, yeah. the LinkedIn groups, whatever. So that's it for the first episode of Chutney Cam. We shall be back very soon with another great, great business. If you want to get your business showcased and you know what? The one thing about the Pathway to Grow organization and Chutney and Chat is that we have some amazing, amazing marketing power. Our exposure is far, far and beyond. It's just absolutely crazy. So if you want to get your business out there to the masses, Drop me a inbox, drop me a line, let's have a chat, and let's get you on Chutney Cam. Yeah. One last thing if I can say. Yep. Yep. So any businesses, firstly on Stratford Road, but in the Harbourn, Bourneville, um, Aston, Selly Oak, sort of. Sorry, are you, are you limited to any area? Or? I am, yeah. So I've got certain territories. So Birmingham, um, Southwest and Northeast area. So the sort of the areas that I've just said. Um, what I can offer... Um, whether you're a Chutney Chat member or not, is um, a free review of wow. your contracts wow. and well your done. handbook. Yes. So if you do contact me, just say that you've seen me on this video um, or through Abid Khan's oh, The benefits site. of Chutney yeah. and Chat just keep on going on. And I'm more than happy to give you, a f if you've got your current contract and you're probably thinking, actually, you know, that's out of date or I've not reviewed them in years or a few years, happy to give you a free uh, review of that as well. Brilliant, Mr. Omar. Okay. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for your time. Thank People, you very much. HR needs, any employment issues, tribunals, recruiting, hiring, firing, stress leave, he is your man. So this is Abdul Khan signing out. See you very soon. Thank you. Thank you.